mention another one last prophecy. He has been prophesied as the Kalki Autar, the final Autar, the Antim Rishi. It's mentioned in the Puranas about the Kalki Autar, about his coming. It's mentioned in the Bhagavata Purana, Khan 12, Adhyay 2, Shlokas 18 to 20. It says that in the house of Vishnu Yash, the revered priest, Brahman priest, of the village of Sambhala will be born the Kalki Avatar. It further says that he will be Lord of the worlds and he will have unsurpassed qualities and character. He will be given specially eight criteria and he will be given by the angels a steed horse, a fleet horse and he will ride a white horse with the sword in his hand. He will defeat the miscreant, the evil people, and he will be savior to the world. It further says in Bhagavad Purana, Khan 1, Adhyay 3, Shloka 25, that in Kali Yug, where kings become robbers, there will be a savior who will be born in the house of Vishnu Yash. His name shall be Kalki. He's even prophesied in the Kalki Purana, chapter number two, verse number four, that in the house of Vishnu Yash, the chief of the village of Sambhala will be born Kalki Avatar. Kalki Purana, chapter number two, verse number five says that he will, along with four companions, defeat the evil people. Kalki Purana, chapter number two, Verse number seven says that he will be helped by the angels in the battlefield. Kalkya Purana, chapter number two, verse number 11 says that in the house of Vishnu Yash, in the womb of Sumati, the Kalkya Avatar will be born. And further says in Kalki Purana, chapter number two, verse number 15, that he will be born on the 12th of the first half of the month of Madhav. Now all these prophecies refer to no one but the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Point number one, he will be born in the house of Vishnu Yash. That means his father's name will be Vishnu Yash. And we know that the name of the father of prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was Abdullah. Vishnu Yash means the follower, the obedient, of Vishnu and Abdullah means the obedient, the worshipper of Almighty God. His mother's name will be Sumati. Sumati in Sanskrit means one who's peaceful. And the name of Prophet Muhammad mother was Amina, which also means peaceful. It says he will be born in the village by the name of Sambala. Sambala in Arabic means a place which is of peace and security. And we know Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was born in Makkah, which is also called as Darul Aman, which means a place of security and peace. It further says that he will be born in the house of the chief of Sambala. And we know Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born in the house of the chief of Makkah. It further says he will be born on the 12th day of the first half of the month of Madhav. And we know that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was born on the 12th of the first half of the month of Rabbi Awal. It further says that the Kalki Avatar, he will be an Antim Rishi, the last Rishi. And we know Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was the last and final messenger of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, as is mentioned in Surah Ahzab, chapter 33, verse number 40. It further says that he will receive guidance from Parshuram in the mountain and then he'll go towards the north and come back. We know he received the first guidance to Archangel Gabriel in Garahira, in Jabal Nur, that is the mountain of light. And later he migrated from Makkah, that is northwards, and he comes back to Makkah later. It further says that he will have qualities which are unsurpassed in character, as Allah says in the Quran, in 
chapter number 68, verse number 4, it says that verily thou art standing on the highest standard of character. Thou art standing on the highest standard of character. It further says that this Kalki Avatar will be given eight special qualities, referring to he will be wise, he'll have self-control, he'll have respectable lineage, he will also have revealed knowledge, he'll have valor and strength, he will have measured speech, he will have the qualities of being charitable, and he will also be very kind. All these eight criteria and characteristics refer to no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It fits his character exactly. It further says that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he will be given the steed horse by Shiva. And we know Prophet Muhammad sallam, was given the Burak by Almighty God, by which he went to Miraj, the ascension to heaven. It further says he will ride a white horse and will have the sword in the right hand. We know that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he took part in most of the battles, most of which were in self-defense. He took active part, he even rode the horse and had the sword in the right hand. It further says that he will be a savior of humankind. As Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Fatir, chapter number 35, verse number 24, and Surah Sabah, chapter number 34, verse number 28, it says, Wama ar salnaka, that we have sent thee not, but as a mercy to the whole of humankind. And he has been sent as a guidance to the whole humankind. But most of the men yet do not know. He's also said that he will guide the people to the right path. And we know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it was the days of Yom al Jahiliya, and he guided them from darkness to light. It further says that he will be supported by four companions who will spread the message. And we know the four companions mentioned refer to Hazrat Abu Bakr, Hazrat Umar, Hazrat Usman, and Hazrat Ali. May Allah be peace with them all. And it further says that he will be helped by the angels in the battlefield. And we know in the battle of Badr, angels helped Prophet Muhammad to win the battle. It's mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number three, was 123 and 125. It's also mentioned in chapter number 8, verse number 8 and 9. These prophecies undoubtedly refer to no one but the last and final messenger of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He's been referred as the last Rishi, Antim Rishi, the last and final messenger of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him.